I'm Captain Steve, and welcome to this tour of Cruising Cat, a 2004 44-foot Endeavor trawler cat. If you're looking for a boat to do the Great Loop in, if you just want to cruise the rivers and the lakes, do the Bahamas, do the Keys, wherever you want to go in this boat, it's a great boat to do it in. A ton of room. If you're going to want to compare it to a much larger boat when you see the inside, it comes with an AB dinghy with a 20 horsepower outboard. Also has a electric winch to lower the dinghy down to the water. Very easy. So this boat just came out of the yard and I wanted to show you the beautiful bottom job that was done on it. But specifically, I want you to see the tunnel drive protecting you from groundings and also those nasty crab pots. Has easy access on a dock floating like this one from the stern. It also has a midship entrance if you're on a fixed dock and the tide happens to be out or equal to that level. So let's go ahead and get on and take a look. Ice chest to the left, storage underneath the fishing table, fish cutting table, a grill. Look how clean the eyes and glass is and this, the canvas is in great shape. Let's take a look down the walkway here. See how wide it is on the port side? Same on the starboard side. You can also access the roof up that ladder right there. And you have a life ring. You're going to see a little light here, or a window there. We'll talk about that in a moment. Underneath this cover is your LP gas. Right there. Vented well. Very safe. Underneath that cover there, a ton of storage. To the left, you see two doors and a little door on top. The two doors on the bottom open up to the generator. As you can see, it's clean, ready to run. Above it, fresh water outlet. In the center step here, that opens up. Underneath that, you have storage along with fuel polishing system and fuel transfer system and two rake cores, and you can see the fuel tank right behind it. That window to the right is also from the guest stateroom. Lots of light down inside. Let's get up into the salon. Look how comfortable this looks. Great to have friends over at five o'clock, docktails, play some cards, maybe do a puzzle on the table, have dinner, have lunch, have breakfast. Lots of visibility. You can roll up the windows. There's bug screens if you happen to be in a buggy area but a lot of ventilation. You've got a stereo system. You've got a place to hang your rods and reels. Look at the visibility. Now the captain chairs are actually in pretty good shape, but eh, they're ready for some reupholstery work. If you want to change them out, easy to change them out too. These happen to be leaning back pretty far. You can straighten them out if you so desire. Above, you have an air conditioner heating system, so close it all up and stay cool or stay warm. Looking at the helm, you have two places to put tablets, one on the left, one on the right. Your engine control with your engine hours and RPMs and such. Your switch panel. Right next to that, remote control for power for your uh, autopilot. You have a Raymarine E120W, a great machine, works fine. You have depth and you have autopilot and you can see the VHF radio. Controls for shifting and throttle. So those of you that want to fly bridge because you like that visibility, look at the visibility you have on this boat. Actually better than a fly bridge. You can open up the windows. You've got more air than you know what to do with. Even though the windows are glass on the front, they open up at the bottom to allow air to come in. But what you have, or you have windshield wipers. So in any rain or foul weather, you're comfortable and you can still see. You can see all four corners when you're docking, when you're underway. Better visibility, in my opinion, than most 
flybridges. So now, let's go down below and see what we have. This is a three bedroom, two bath. In the salon, you have two recliners with a corner table. You have a bench seat, very soft, very comfortable. Large TV. You can see VHF radio up on top. Looking back out, how much light you have. This is all natural light. We've got lights turned on, but didn't need them. We come back around, you got a DVD player and you have a stereo system. Plenty of walls to hang pictures, plenty of shelving to put knickknacks. As you can see, the windows on the sides and the natural light coming in. The chairs are a little worn, could either be reupholstered or replaced. You have another table there with a drawer. See, big windows again. Now you can see the galley. So we're going to start moving our way towards the galley. Here you have large screen TV with the VHF radio above it. Down below, you have a freezer to the left, ice maker to the right. Now this galley is very deceiving. It is down below, yet wholly open. You don't feel like you're ever by yourself. You've got a long counter, a two burner stove with an oven, a ton of cabinets and drawers, double sink, microwave off to the right, more storage. You see the refrigerator freezer off there onto the right hand side. Now look at this. You're down here. You're not cut off from any of your friends, family. You can see everything going in and out. You can even look up over the top and see everybody constantly in touch. You can watch television while you're down there also. There's a window in the middle to you see to the right. You can open up, let fresh air in. So now, let's take a look at one of the guest staterooms. This is a queen size bed. The engines are underneath the beds. There's a door there that gives you access to the engines. Plus, you lift it up. It's got a hydraulics on it, so you lift it up and it will stay up while you look at the engines. Let's take a look. You've got a hanging cabinet to the left. You've got drawers. Open that door. Lift up the bottom, and there's your engine. Nice and clean, well organized, easy access. Lots of light in this room. Lots of windows. Now let's take a look down the other side towards the head. This is the guest head. There's a refrigerator freezer to the right. Come in the door, look at the storage on the left-hand side, underneath the sink. You've got a great medicine cabinet, nice size sink, place to hang towels, a window that opens up. So now you have air and light. And here's your shower. Walk in, plenty of headroom, and behind those two doors, that's your Splendid washer dryer. We'll go in here and turn around. You can see the window that you can open up. Get some fresh air coming in. Another view of the galley as you start to leave here. The amount of storage is unbelievable. Let's go ahead and cross over to the other side. Go into guest room number two. Look at the electrical panel. 
it's all right there. You don't have to bend over. You don't have to look at things really hard. You have access to everything. There's another cabinet for more storage. Now this room is like the other room. The engine is underneath the bed. You have a queen size bed. You don't have to unmake the beds in order to get to the engines. You have a hanging cabinet. You have more drawers. Now that hose in the back goes to the water maker, which is behind the cabinet and in the back. I think I'd look at replacing that in some way. But that's what it is. Open it up again, just like the other side. You open up the door. You have total access to your engine room, which is clean, organized. Another window for light. Another window that opens up to allow access to nice, fresh air. Now, another view of the salon. You see how much room there is. Let's go into the master stateroom. This is a walk-around queen-size bed. Now, most people will actually sleep at the, what would be the, looks like the foot of the bed. They make that the head of the bed, so you can look out the window right there, and you got the hatches right above you. You also have two nightstands, electric on each one. You've got another shelf to put stuff up on. A lot of room. It's wonderful having a walk around. Let's go down here. There's your air conditioning control. Your nightstand, which also has storage under it. Handrail. Another cabinet. Now here's the master head. You see, you got a rail there you got places to hang towels another medicine cabinet more storage a nice spacious shower a window that opens up fresh air sunlight remember this is only a 44 foot boat another window that opens up for fresh air and light Now, as we finish looking in the head, we're going to go across to one of the biggest assets to this boat. Women, I know you love this. Here is a dressing room. Look at all the drawers. Look at all the hanging cabinet. Look at the space. You have a desk or a makeup table. There is a chair that can come with it if you want it. They have it. They just don't have it on the boat. Look at the hooks on the left. You can hang bags off of that or whatever you would like. Another window that opens up. Now this shelf up here, they keep all their shoes up there, but you also can hang clothes on it. You can hang jackets on it, foul weather gear, whatever you want on there. Here's what I would call a bookshelf. Look at the space in here. Remember, this is a 44 foot boat. I keep having to say that, but it's a 44 foot boat. cabinet there for towels, toilet paper, whatever you want. The boat also has fans in every room. So if you don't want to turn on your air conditioner, open up all the windows, you've got fans that you can also run to kind of move the air around. We have the lights on, but we don't need them. There's so much ambient light in this boat. So comfortable. I'm going to take one last look at the salon here in all its space. We're going to go back out to the cockpit area. There's a hatch opens up, get fresh air. Okay, let's go back outside.
and take a walk outside and go up to the bow on the starboard side here. You see the swim ladder on the back back there. More storage under that little cabinet right there. Let's take a hike down this nice wide walkway. There's a ladder right there that attaches to the midship um, area right there to the right in case if you have to get a ladder to get down to the dock. Look at how clean that Isaac is. Twin 30 amp system. Handrails walking down the side. You can see there is a spare anchor along with your main anchor. You can also see the bridle there. Underneath those two covers is all storage under there where that little round cover is there. That is a fresh water wash down and the buttons for your feet for putting the anchor up and down. I like this windlass because you can also wrap a line around it if you need to. You can see up in the corners there's a chair there, or seat I should say, and a seat on the other side. And there's two seats right here that are molded in. There are cushions for those, but this boat just came out of the yard. It has a brand new coat of bottom paint and it also has the props and running gear all has been painted also with prop speed up on the roof wi-fi extenders satellite dish i don't know if it works or not but it is there if you want it radar loudspeaker spotlight horns Hatches, antennas for GPS and probably uh, Sirius. You can see the air conditioning system up there. There's also uh, solar panels on the stern. Now look at all this space up here. That is made to put sun pads on if you want, or you can bring up what's really popular right now, some of those kind of beanbag chairs and sit up there or sit down with regular chairs down below. They store quite easily. Watch the sunset, watch the sun rise. Just watch. Watch nature around you. Watch your neighbors walk by the dock. There's also storage for fenders. You can see you can store a kayak. You see how the windows open up at the bottom so you get air into that area. I want to thank you for joining me on this tour. Again, I'm Captain Steve Russell. Admiral T. Sale. My phone number and my email are down below. If you have an interest, please contact me. Again, thank you for joining me.